Hello friends, Pushkar here, back again with another video. In this video, I will solve a lead code medium complexity problem. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today's problem is merge interval. This is a very uh, famous problem. 13,000 people have liked this problem. And this problem has been asked in companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Netflix. And in fact, one of my friend who was giving interviews for senior developer in Apple and the Apple interviewer asked the same question. So in this problem, you are given an array of intervals and the intervals can overlap each other. Okay, so, so you have to merge the overlapping intervals and return the list of non overlapping intervals. For example, in example one, the array of interval is 1, 3, 2, 6, uh, 8, 10 and 15, 18. Okay, so the interval 1, 3 and 2, 6 are overlapping because interval 1, to 1, uh, comma 3 means 1, 2, 3 and 2, uh, comma 6 means 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6. Okay, so this is overlapping. Okay, so these get merged. So after merging, it becomes 1, comma 6. Okay, and this is the final output. Okay, and in the example 2, uh, the interval is 1 comma 4 and the other one is 4 comma 5 okay so there is no overlapping but 4 is common the end of the first interval is equals to the uh, start of the second inter interval so this also consider as overlapping in this problem okay so you have to uh, merge in this case as well and hence the output will be 1 comma 5 okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so in, uh, in example 1 the array is array of intervals is we have array of 1 comma 3 then 2 comma 6 then 8 comma 10 then 15 comma 18 okay so if we draw a number line and try to represent these intervals on it then it will look something like this okay so let's say, uh, let's have our uh, number line like this, okay? So this is our, our number line, where this one is, let's say, 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 18 okay so let's draw the interval 1 2 3 in this uh, in this uh, number line so 1 2 3 means we have this okay this is one interval and then 2 comma 6 okay so for 2 comma 6 we have this interval And then for 8 comma 10 we have this interval and uh, for for 15 comma 18 we have this interval okay so as you have seen uh, that the only overlapping is this one okay and how we can uh, see this is um, if we uh, sort the intervals with respect to the uh, start value of the interval okay with the first value then we can easily uh, check whether it is overlapping to uh, to an, an interval or not for example uh, uh, 1 comma 3 okay this this is one interval and we have one interval 2 comma 6 okay we can say these two intervals are overlapping only when the end of the first interval is greater or equal to the start of the another interval okay and and when we merge it okay when we merge it our new interval will become something like uh, the start of the first one okay one and uh, the end of the second one okay uh, not the end of the second one but maximum of the maximum of the end okay for example um, so in this case we have the uh, the second uh, value as 3 and 6 so the maximum is 6 okay so the merge interval will be 1 comma 6 but what if if in uh, what if it was 1 comma 7 and the other one is 2 comma 6 then in that case uh, the merge interval will be 1 comma 7 okay 
So now let's start the implementation. I have already uh, created a private static main function for this uh, solution. Okay. So this uh, method accept the interval. Okay. So now the first step is to sort the intervals. Okay. So to sort the intervals, I will use the sort method of the arrays util class. Okay. So arrays dot sort. Okay. And it will take uh, intervals as the argument. Okay. The array as the argument and the sorting criteria. So let's create the sorting criteria. So I am creating a lambda function to define the sorting criteria where a and b are integer array uh, denoting the uh, intervals. Okay. So the sorting criteria is to sort based on the start value of the interval. And if the start values are same, then sort based on the end value of the interval. Okay. So if a comma zero not equals to b comma zero, okay, not equals to b comma zero, then return a comma zero minus b comma zero and if it is same then sort based on the end value okay so a comma one minus b comma one okay so this will sort our intervals okay so now let's create an array list of integer array to store our solution okay so list integer array and let's call it a uh, temp list okay let's take the implementation as array list okay and how i'm gonna merge the interval is um i will pick one interval okay and check it within uh, next interval and if both are overlapping then i'm gonna merge it and if they are not overlapping, then I'm going to store uh, the previous one in our list and take uh, the next one as our new candidate. Okay. So let's take this as uh, previous equals to intervals comma zero and start our for loop from one. Okay. I less than intervals dot length i plus plus okay now let's take the next uh, interval let's call it current okay so intervals comma i and let's check whether it is overlapping or not is overlapping okay brief comma current okay so now let's implement the overlapping uh, function so how we decide whether it's overlapping or not okay so an interval is overlapping if this if the end of the first interval is greater than or equal to the start of the next interval okay so if the end okay so the end of the previous one should be greater than or equal to the start of the current okay if it is there then it's uh, overlapping so turn true okay else uh, return false in all case okay so this means it's overlapping and if it is overlapping then let's merge it okay so now our prev become new int okay so that will have the start value of prev and the max of the end of prev Sec, uh, end value and current end value okay Prev first comma current first okay else if it is non-overlapping then then priv is non-overlapping to current that means priv is one of our uh, answer okay so now let's store it in our uh, temp list which is which is storing our answer okay so temp list dot add priv okay and priv will become your current okay and at the end of uh, uh, in the last iteration we are not considering the priv okay and that will an overlapping interval so now let's add that to okay list dot temp list dot add priv okay so now this temp list uh, contains our solution but the uh, output of this function is an uh, two dimensional array so now let's convert this template into two dimensional array okay so let's create 
int a two dimensional array okay answer and new int the out length of this will be temp dot size and it will be two okay so now let's uh, simply copy copy the data int i is equals to zero i less than templates dot size i plus plus and our answer i equals to templates dot get i okay and now our answer contains the solution so now let's return this okay now let's run so the output is 1 comma 6 8 comma 10 and 15 comma 18 which is expected as you can see the output is 1 comma 6 8 comma 10 and 15 comma 18 okay so now let's uh, submit it pasting it in the read code and let's test whether it there is any syntax error or not while copy pasting so as you can see it has passed the sample test case so now let's submit as you can see uh, that this code has passed all the test cases and the solution is expected and it is faster than 58 percent of the uh, current java submission so this is what in this video i will keep solving lead code medium complexity problem that will help you in interview preparation till then take care and subscribe my channel thanks bye